Hey everyone, this is Mayu, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Thank you all so much for all your wonderful likes and comments in my previous video. I'm glad you enjoyed my part 4 of my Draw One Character in 10 Styles challenge. I will be making part 5 sometime in the future. Today I am going to be doing another combined video and this time I'm going to combine famous siblings into one character. This is going to be really interesting. I wonder how these famous characters are going to look like merged together. Uh, and some of you have been asking for this so thank you for suggesting in the comments. Alright, so my first two victims will be Dexter and Dee Dee from Dexter's Laboratory. I love these two characters designs. I do think they are very like they are such extremes of each other. I love how short and like solid looking Dexter is compared to Dee Dee's like flowy, loosey uh, kind of like uh, feeling. So I wonder how they're gonna look like combined. I know they may not like it, at least Dexter won't like it, but too bad. I try to find a balance. Uh, in my uh, design, so I would have elements of both characters. But meanwhile, I didn't want this drawing to look like I just literally took two different, like, like different parts of each character and just popped them onto each other. I wanted to have more of a merged feeling. And because these characters, their designs are quite simplistic uh, in terms of like the amount of details and also the style itself. That was actually a challenge for me, so I had to really find like a fine uh, balance of the two. I liked how um, Dexter's hair has the little, the little loopy like curls in there, so I wanted to keep that. But of course, I also wanted to keep Dee Dee's like big bouncy uh, pigtails. I think they're super cute, so I decided to merge that into one hairstyle. <laughs> Dexter doesn't approve. I'm curious, do you have any siblings? Please share in the comments and also let me know what are the funny moments or weird things or embarrassing like things that you've experienced uh, with your sibling. That'll be really fun to read and I have a bunch of stories from when I was little growing up with my brother. Oh yeah, there are quite a lot of interesting memories and I actually might even uh, write them out as graphic novels later on in the future. I thought to give my character some big thick glasses with Dee Dee's like eyes uh, or I, at least the pupils um, and then for the outfit I love Dee Dee's little uh, dress but I also wanted to have a little bit of the solid feeling of Dexter's lab coat because it looks really squarish and very like rigid and solid so I wanted to combine the lines of those two together. I also wanted the legs and feet to look like a cross between Dee Dee's and uh, Dexter's so I liked her like Dee Dee's long legs and Dexter's pointy shoes. So I merged those kind of like design elements together. And then as for the colors, I wanted to do something interesting with the combination. I think it's fun how, you know, sometimes when we think about siblings, especially when we were little and we were growing up, we would think, oh, I don't like my brother or I don't like my sister because they, you know, at that time when we were younger, we thought they were so annoying or, you know, like just they were touching our things all the time. I remember all those moments when I told my brother not to touch my things and he would do that anyways. <laughs> But, you know, now uh, when I look back, you know, those are really precious memories and I love them. And I'm really glad to have my brother with me. Uh, you know, through all these years, we've been through a lot. And now that we've uh, teamed up together to write our own storybooks and comics, I think that is just a great, like, next step for me and my brother. So I'm really proud of that. Really proud of you, bro. Love you so much. Hmm, what name would you give her? Uh, 
Okay, this next sibling pair is Phineas and Candace. Uh, I think it's going to be quite challenging to uh, mix. They're very differently shaped faces and hairstyles. For this design, I'm using my colored brush pens because the original characters have colored outlines. So right away, I knew that I wanted to get uh, Phineas's famous pointy nose in there somehow, uh, but I did not want to have all of the like the triangular elements of his entire head because I did want to have some other elements of Candace in there somehow. So I tried with the nose and then I played around with the other different features. When I was doing the concept sketches for this design, I was at first thinking, should I lean towards a more like a female design or a male design? And after some thought, I decided to go with a female design for this one because I like uh, Candice's like the, like how her hair flows down uh, along her really long neck. And for her hairstyle, I wanted to combine things from both brother and sister. I like how Phineas has his like spiky, you know, little um, like groups of hair on top of his head. Then he has like nothing else. But I also like um, Candice's long flowing hair. So I decided to combine the spikiness uh, on top and a little bit on the ends where it flips up um, in her back. I think that's really interesting. And then after I was, like when I was drawing this out, I kept thinking this like female design looks really interesting because of not only the hairstyle, but also the nose. I'm not very used to seeing female characters in mainstream cartoons where they have like really big, large pointy noses. So I think this design is quite special and unique. For those of you who've been waiting for my new books to help your drawing skills, I've released my Design Your Own Hair Workbooks, both with the female and male editions. I know many of you are looking forward to practicing and sharpening your drawing skills and creativity. It's a great indoor activity. These new workbooks are perfect because they give you a head start, pun intended, for designing different cute, romantic, and cool hairstyles. There's no struggling to draw proportionate faces because it's right there, you just add the hair. These workbooks go well with my Draw One Girl with 20 Hairstyles ebook and Draw One Boy with 20 Hairstyles ebook, which many of you already have. And for the full learning experience, you can actually use these ebooks as a guide for you to practice drawing and coloring right on the head templates in the workbooks. Or you can draw and design your own however you want. Each workbook has 20 of the same head template for you to draw the 20 hairstyles from the corresponding ebook, plus 10 bonus head templates of the same character for you to draw your own hairstyles or practice your favorites. Like my coloring books, these workbooks work well with most markers, colored pencils, gel pens, and crayons. They are part of my Design Your Own Workbook series. Get them for yourself or as gifts. They're among the 50 books and counting on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link is below. Happy drawing, everyone! The more you draw, the better you draw. I really like the balance of colors in my design. I can totally see them from the two different characters. And also her face is just so like, she looks so friendly and chatty and energetic. Ah, I just love it. Please let me know which combination do you like better in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like to support my channel and so you won't miss my future videos. I want to say a big thank you to all of you who got my different books. I'm glad that you're having fun creating your own masterpieces using my coloring books. I've been seeing some amazing coloring pieces from you under the hashtag MayYouArt. I'm so proud of all of you. Also, thanks for getting my first art book. I hope my collection of my hand-drawn, full-colored art from my reimagined videos can give you lots of inspiration. For those of you who are learning to draw using my ebooks and workbooks, keep practicing and you will get better. The more you draw, the better you draw. There are over 50 books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week. I've got another exciting Fun Friday video planned. Till next time.